Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Friday Business Intelligence Tip. Today, we're going to be talking about how to export items from Power BI. Now, it's a very simple topic and, and in some ways very obvious, but I do get the question a lot about what's possible to export from Power BI, and I'm going to show you the most common things that uh, we get asked to export and, and some of the little features around that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, jump over to my other screen like I always do. And I've got a uh, just a sample Power BI uh, dashboard up. So it's a report. And it, you'll notice I've got sub pages to this report. Right now it's a headcount trends. And I also have other pages of employee listing and new hire listing and so forth. It's not so important what it is that I'm looking at, but uh, more so that, you know, what I what I have here is just a, a sample dashboard. Now, if I want to export this, the, there are three uh, content types that you can export to very quickly, two of which we use quite a bit and one not so much. So up here on the top, you'll notice there's a little bar for export. Now, this can be controlled by your administrator. So you may or may not see that. If, if not, you'll have to have that turned back on. Uh, for you to do that. But the three primary ways that you can export data is either to a PDF, to Excel, and to PowerPoint. And I, I said those somewhat uh, specifically in that order, intentionally, I'll say to that order, in that we get asked to go to PDF quite a bit. So perhaps you have, want to send this information to someone that's not a Power BI user, maybe uh, someone outside of your organization. Um, by just doing export to PDF, what you're going to see, it's going to give you some different options. And the key ones here really are current values and default values. Now, I rarely use default values. Usually, I'm using current values uh, for this. So what that means is I want to get the dashboard set up uh, or the report, I should say, set up in such a way that it has the data as I want to send it to that person. So I keep it at current values. And then you'll notice this page right here, only export current page. If I keep that unchecked and I click export, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, you're going to notice up here it's saying it's exporting it to PDF, and that might take a little bit. Um, so depending on the size of your uh, content, obviously, it'll take a little while. Now, I have four pretty busy pages, not a ton of data, but at least pretty busy pages. So this will take approximately 45 seconds or so to... to uh, export. So I'm just going to let that run. And then what it's going to do is um, generate a PDF file. And I'm using Chrome right now as my browser. So typically, it'll put it down in the lower left corner here, a, uh, a PDF file when it's done. And there it is. It says PDF file is ready. And you'll notice it here. If I just go ahead and I open that uh, into a PDF viewer, you'll notice it does a pretty good job of rendering that as a static PDF document. And I can go down through my pages, and it has the sub reports uh, in it as well. So I've got new hire listing and my turnover listing. So whatever you have in your pages, it generates that data uh, as a uh, report. Um, so that's, that is um, what the PDF one does. Now, you'll notice up here on the export when I did to PDF, and it gave me that options. If it says only current page, if you check that, that will just do the one that you're looking at. So pretty obvious what it's doing. Now, the second type of export that I usually do is the Excel one. And that's the one that I, I use more often for the data. So the difference between the PDF and the Excel is the PDF basically is generating the reports or the dashboards as the graphics as you have them. If I do analyze in Excel, the difference on that is, is instead what it's doing is it's taking the data from your um, uh, dashboard or report here, and it's going to allow me to open that up in Excel uh, from a data perspective. And in this case, it's going to create what's um, caused as a pivot table. Now, the warning it's giving me is saying that be careful, the workbook contains one or more carries that queries that might be unsafe, but I know the source of this, so I'm going to say yes. I don't need to refresh my data, so we're good there. But if I click over here in the pivot table area, 
course, I didn't have my data refresh. So let me go back here and try that again. That was not very, uh, that was not very good of a demo there. So what it's supposed to do, is generate that data. And it's not letting me, of course, now that I'm doing this. So what that typically does is it opens up the model of the data here in a pivot table that you can then analyze. Let me go back to Power BI and I'm gonna try a different model of mine. So if I go back to home here and let's see if it's generally on the Power BI service that we're running into now, or if it's something uh, that I'm hitting um, on my instance. So I'll go to some finance data. We'll try that here. So now this is gonna load this report up and let's go ahead and export and analyze this in Excel. I mean, it's surprising me. I'm going to guess that this is going to fail as well, just based on the timing. This should that should have taken a little longer to do than that. Yeah. So Power BI is having an instance at the uh, issue at the moment. What's supposed to happen uh, when you do that is it will take about as long as that PDF is ge gener generating, and from that it will generate the model over here as pivot table fields. Uh, that you then can use. So in, in the case of the financial data, you would see the measures of amounts and units and so forth and be able to look at that by your chart of accounts. So very powerful, much like a cube query that I've shown in some of my previous sessions, you're able to uh, analyze that data uh, around. So, um, so I apologize that Power BI is down, even though I can't do a whole lot about that. So that's the beauty of using the web service uh, you are subject to whatever happens on that um, but hopefully you get the idea of what the export's doing and whether it be that the powerpoint one if i do that there you can embed an image or live data if i go ahead and export uh, this to the current values to powerpoint it does much like the pdf and that it's going to take each of my pages that are here but instead of a PDF file, what it's going to do is it's going to generate a PowerPoint and a separate slide for each one of those. Uh, so if you do want to take this and do a presentation on it, um, you can do this either as images of each of your pages, or you can do that as live data that you can then interact with inside uh, a PowerPoint. So a pretty powerful feature that is as well. Um, but this tends to work best as if I know I've got a dashboard that I want to walk through, but I don't want to necessarily be connected to the internet. And I want to do this presentation offline. I'll generate it to a to a PowerPoint, and then I can walk through each one of those as a as a slide. So now, as you can see, this is taking long like the PDF. So that's telling me it's actually uh, you know going to generate that, unlike the Excel portion, which uh, for whatever reason is not working at the moment so let's open up the powerpoint so you can see what that looks like it creates a header page here that you then could modify and then each one of my slides that i have uh, it generates that in powerpoint so you can see a pretty pretty good way to take the data that i've got there and generate that uh, out to various slides in powerpoint so that's what I plan on covering today. Hopefully you found today's session useful, except for the Excel portion, of course, um, even though that is the one that I use the most. So um, whenever you want to just look at data or analyze data outside of it, use the export to Excel. Otherwise, if you're doing presentations, PowerPoint and PDF. Thank you for joining today. And I look forward to talking with you again next Friday on another business intelligence session. Thanks for joining.